Welcome back people, we've got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today. So we are back in Mongolia in Sledge River. So I spawned in where the boat dock is, I've got on the boat and I'm coming round now. There is quite a few <coughs> different places that I found Lennox. There's yeah, there's more than five, six spots that I found, but I'm gonna show you the best three spots that I found. Um well, I'm going to show you two of them, I'm going to fish two of them, and then I'll show you the third one. I'm going to show you three different spots where it's really uh, pretty easy to catch Lennox. Now, when I say pretty easy, some of these Lennox, I don't know, sometimes, I can't understand this, this, this river, it's a little bit strange. Sometimes I'm catching really, really fast pace, and then other times it dies out. I think maybe there could be an hour time slot, but of course, you could always check the time on the top left there to see what time I am catching fish. Anyway, anytime I do live streams, I'll always use a face camera mic for videos. I randomly hit record. We do have a playlist of just Fishing Planet. So if you're stuck on any mission or any fish monster mission or you want to find hot spots or you want to just catch fish at a fast pace in all different lakes, you can check out our playlist. 400 plus videos there. I'm pretty sure you will find everything that you need. Of course, do leave your comments in the comment section below. I always try my best to respond to every single comment and smash that like button as well. If you're enjoying Fishing Planet, so this new lake, AE5, AE... Yeah, anywhere between 80 to 90 ish foot I'm casting out. Um, way far back over there in the distance, we can catch some Lennox there as well. So I put a couple of rods out there and I'm putting some closer in between 80 to 90 foot just near that rock on my right there. Now, of course, I'm going to show you my rod setups and stuff. And I will pull out the map in a short sec and I'll show you where everything is. Now, I was using the large minnow, which does work. I do catch, yeah, I definitely do catch Lennox on the large minnow. But I noticed the common minnow, I put four rods out and two of them with large minnows and two of them with uh, the common minnow. And I noticed that the common minnow seems to be biting that little bit quicker. So the common minnow does work. Now over this way over here, all around over there, I didn't manage to show you because we've got a rod on, uh, fish on the rod. But yeah, over that way we can catch Lennox as well. I haven't set a marker out there, but near that tree stump that you saw um, a little bit further out, yeah, you could catch it there. But anyway, here on the common minnow. Now I've been using 6 up, but I've also been using the 5 up. Again, I've noticed with the 5 up, I'm catching that little bit quicker. So I ended up changing most of them, or I think all of them, over. But anyway, there's my biggest unique Lennox now. Just under 20 pound. They're nice looking fish. They're like a purpley type kind of colour. Now of course I am playing on PC. The updates will be coming to the console. In, uh, normally it's around about two to three weeks, probably now around about two-ish weeks left. Um, within that time, of course, as long as you are subscribed to the channel, the second I know it's out on, on the console, I'll be making a video letting you guys know that the update has dropped. So do make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on the new updates on this game. And of course, showing different hotspots and fish missions. I've completed the fish missions in this place. And I've shown uh, how to catch the unique uh, tamum, which a lot of people wanted to see that. We've also caught a few other fish, showing the other hot spots of pike and stuff. But I am going to make a video, not just yet, but the video is going to be coming very, very soon, of showing the very best hot spots that I have found in this place. Now, I haven't released that video just yet because I want to still keep doing a bit of research. I want to keep moving around and trying to find different spots and then eventually there will be a video of maybe like top 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 three or maybe top best five or something like that but anyway using the spinning rod i noticed that this walker on the 4R, this walker does work quite well for catching lennox and of course you don't need to have the same spinning rod as me nor do you need the same rods as me for catching these lennox i'm just using these rods because this is what i do have to hand but because they're only 20 pound fish, technically you don't need rods nowhere near as good as what I've got. But of course I am going to show you all of my rod setups anyway, just in case you want to use the same. Now for me I use Max Drag on all of my rods, so when I'm fighting that fish, I can put as much tension on it, get it in quick, get it back out quick, get that next fish. These don't give bad cash or XP if I'm honest. I think they are pretty, yeah, I think they are pretty good cash and XP grind. 
especially if you don't have a very good quality setup. Now, of course, they do have the DLC pack for this lake, uh, for the Mongolia, but they you can also fish here without buying the, the pack. This, this lake, to get in here, you've got to be level 48. So you don't necessarily have to buy the DLC, although I will be buying the DLC um, just because I like the uh, I like the outfit that they <laughs> that they get. But I'll make a separate video on the DLC showing you the new outfit and the new rods and reels and all that stuff. And I will be using the rods and reels and checking them out and seeing what they're like. That video is probably going to be coming next week just because I'm very very short on real cash. On real money right now, I'm insanely short. So, um, yeah, that video is going to have to come next week until my cash flow goes up just a tiny bit. <laughs> anyway, fishing here is a good spot for the Lenok. And, of course, I am going to show you another very good spot for, for Lenok as well. So, as I said, there's probably three... Uh, yeah, I definitely have a lot of places where I've caught Lenok, but I'd say there's three best locations that I found now this one is being one of them I don't know out of the three what is probably the best the best place for Lennox they're all catch Lennox all three spots that I'm going to show you and I do catch them uh, pretty much at the same same rate uh, uh, yeah pretty fast fast pace of catching them so there's my spinning rod set up so I'm at the boat dock, but I've just obviously just gone around the corner from the boat dock. But uh, I'm going to show you on the map anyway. That's where it is. There's a Lennox there. Obviously, I, I have caught Unique here. You see that, but I just set a, I just set a mark. I don't, I'm not really fussed or bothered whether it's standard Lennox or Unique. I know if I set a marker there, I'm going to catch Unique fish. <coughs> I'm really sorry. I still got a bit of a cough. I do try to hold it. But sometimes I can't. Anyway, here is another location where I've been catching Lennox, which I'm pretty sure some of you have seen me fish here a little bit. Um, just over to my left is where I, I uh, did the video on the Taman. But again, so we're still at the boat dock, but now instead of getting on the boat, we're actually at the boat dock itself, just a little bit over to the right. That's where I've been fishing. So there, I've got two markers out here. One in close, and then one a little bit further out. Now, if you can't cast very far, you could always cast there, which is 70 foot. And if you can't get 70 foot, then you could always jump on the boat. But that is my rod set up as well. And as you can see there, there's the boat dock. That's where we are at. I pull out the map as well just to show you. So there and there, both of those, we can catch Lennox. So you can catch them in close, and you can also catch them a little bit, a little bit further out there. I really wanted to catch some fish like this using the lure rod and it zoomed in. I did, but unfortunately we got it in too close and we didn't see it strike and hook. <laughs> oh, what am I doing with my life? Anyway, a, tro <laughs> a trophy Lennox there. And that was on the walker. As I said, you don't have to have the same spinning rod set up as me, nor even the same rod setups. I'm not catching monster, monster fish in this place. Um, although the biggest fish that I have caught in here is is up to 122 pounds. I don't really think they go up a lot lot more than that, to be honest. I think that is pretty much, yeah, to near the top end of the biggest fish in this lake. But for a level 48 lake, it is quite a nice place to come and fish and chill. And it's nice to also get into this lake and you don't have to buy a DLC. I think that's really good for some of the uh, other people who can't afford to buy DLCs. Of course... When new lakes drop, I let you guys know about what's going to be in the new lake when it's coming out. And of course, I always live stream that with a face camera mic showing you new hotspots and all that kind of stuff. But it's good for other people who can't afford to buy the DLC. So as you can see there, I have another unique Lennox on. So of course, I am going to show you another location on the map where Lennox is at. But I'd probably say them two are the main two that I do fish for the Lennox. Leave your comments below, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you are new so you don't miss out for more updates. So that's where we are fishing, just straight forward. And uh, over there is Lennox, and of course up here is where I found Lennox as well. Catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.